Hello, I'm Dana Young, the school nurse at Hopewell Valley High School, and I have a panel of students from Hopewell here with me today to discuss teenagers and smoking. I feel comfortable discussing this topic because as the medical person in the high school, I have to deal with this question frequently, and I'm also a reformed smoker. I smoked for about 20 years, and it's been about 10 years since I stopped. What I'd like to do now is to have the panel introduce themselves and to tell us all a little bit about their smoking habits, when they started smoking, whether their parents know they smoke, and uh, anything else that might be pertinent to this question. Um, I'm Rebecca Carson, I'm a junior. I guess I've been smoking since about sixth grade, so I was 11 or 12 years old. Um, my parents know I smoke, they don't like it. Um, and I don't know, I, s I went from smoking about two packs a day and now I'm down to about half a pack a day, depending. Uh, my name's Scott Malik. Uh, I've been smoking about four years, unfortunately. Um, I, s uh, I really don't smoke that much anymore. I probably smoke about f between five and ten cigarettes a day. Um, trying to quit, and uh, I don't know, we'll see what happens. Well, I'm Rob Cortina, and I'm a senior, and I've been smoking since I was about 11 years old. And right now I smoke at least a pack a day because I have more opportunities to smoke because my parents smoke and I'm allowed to smoke in the house and I smoke at work too so that comes off to smoking a lot of cigarettes a day. Uh, my name is Joel Gadowski, I'm a junior. I've been smoking for about two to two and a half years and I smoke about a pack and a half a day pack and uh, I'd like to quit but I like smoking too much and it's just addicted and I don't have the willpower to stop it. Hi, my name is Julia Balastracci. I'm a junior. Um, I smoked for two years. I started smoking when I was 15. My parents knew that I smoked and they told me that they didn't like it. And I knew that, but they never really bothered me about it because they thought that if I was going to quit, I'd have to quit on my own. And I did quit a month and a half ago. Um, I wanted to discuss a little bit about uh, some other points. There's a lot of media attention going on today uh, about smoking and the hazards of smoking and questions about the you know, tobacco companies. Uh, it seems to me that all of you at your age probably have been taught about the hazards of smoking ever since you probably could read or watch TV or you know anything else, and yet all of you started to smoke. Uh, do you believe these health reports, these health concerns, or do you think that they're fabricated, or you know, just what is your view on that subject, Becca? Um, I don't know. I I believe the health risks. I can see it in my parents and my grandparents who smoke. Um, I don't know. When I started smoking, I guess I just didn't think that it would affect me at all. I'd be like, no, it's not gonna do anything to me. So I guess it's just like denial of the situation. Um, I'm pretty aware of the health hazards that it causes. Uh, none of my relatives at all smoke, but uh, <laughs> uh, I'm starting to experience some health hazards from it. Uh, so that's why I'm planning to quit. What what type of health problems do you have? You noticed uh, specifically? Can't breathe. Uh, can't run anymore. And uh, I usually I'm pretty I'm sick about. 360 days out of 365 okay. in a year. Well, well, I'm aware of all the health hazards, but I haven't had any symptoms of them yet, like Scott, but um, I don't know what to say because it's dangerous, but people are still going to do it. Everything today is bad for you, even though smoking is really bad for you because you're directly killing yourself. And I'm sure everybody that smokes is aware of that, and that's if that's an, if they feel strongly that's really not an issue to them, they're not going to say I'm going to quit smoking because it's bad for me. Because if they knew if they knew it was bad for the start, so if they started, I don't think they're going to quit unless they're smoking for a long time. It really starts to bother. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm aware of all the uh, the health hazards, but I mean I know they're going to affect me, but I'm just waiting for something. I need something like that to really make me quit. Um, the only thing I have is maybe a little bit of hacking once in a while. That's about it. Um, I'm also very aware of the health ha hazards, but um, I think when people start to smoke, they're not thinking about health hazards. They're watching people that they look up to smoking, and I think that's the reason why a lot of people start. 
Do, do you all think that there's peer pressure to smoke <coughs> when you're younger and that might have contributed to uh, you starting to smoke? Anybody no. Can jump no, 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 no. Well, I, when I started to smoke, I started to smoke by myself. Like, I had no friends were with me because my mom smoked and I stole one of, like, a butt out of her ashtray and I went outside and smoked it. And I just kept, I didn't do it every day, but I'd, I'd do it every other day whenever I was bored just for something to do. And that's how I started to smoke. My friends didn't have any influence on me. Mm -hmm. What about the cost of cigarettes? I mean, I stopped smoking 10 years ago and it was pretty expensive then. You know, how much does it cost now to buy a pack of cigarettes? Too much. Depends on what you buy. Depends on what you buy. Yeah, you can buy yeah. Joel cigarettes for 68 cents a pack. Okay. <laughs> really? I mean, I see. I didn't know something like that. But I would think for the most part, it, it's pretty, um, well, it, it can be a drain on your pocket money, huh? Oh, well, that's definitely. why I cut down so much is because I just couldn't afford it anymore. I have, like, no income, so. Have any like of you had problems purchasing cigarettes? Because supposedly, you're not supposed to be able to purchase them under the age of 18. Well, if you want cigarettes, you can always get them because there's mm -hmm. machines and there's no yeah. one running a machine say you can't buy it. Mm -hmm. You just stick your money in, you pull the thing, and you got cigarettes. That's how I used to do it when I was little. I don't know. I've never been carded for cigarettes, so. <laughs> if, yeah. the, if the store's empty, most people don't care. Yeah. They, ju they just want money. I mean, yeah. that's all it's about. Yeah, if you want to get cigarettes and you're little, like mm -hmm. if you're like 13 or 14 and you really want them, you can get them. Mm -hmm. mm. So there's really no, that's not really a deterrent for to say yeah. that there's an age. I mean, even when, I was, gas stations. Even when yeah. I was like 11 years old, I could go in and say, uh, yeah, I'm coming down to buy a pack of cigarettes for my dad or something. And they're like, mm -hmm. oh, OK. Yeah. You know, there's no questions. I think the only time when, when um, people do card you is when there's like a camera, um, video camera recording everything that's going on. And then they have to ask you for <laughs> a form of ID. And if you don't have it, then can't get them. Mm. Now, Rebecca, Scott, and Joel, you've all expressed to me, and I'm sure to other people, that you'd like to stop smoking. And so far, you haven't been successful, although you feel that you have been successful in cutting back. Um, can you tell me a little bit about that and maybe talk a little bit about <coughs> maybe some things that might help you to be successful? Um, I really think that um, in addition to cigarette smoking is not physical for me yet. I think it's just a mental state of mind because I've gone days without smoking at all. And it was, you know, there are busy days, like if I, on a holiday, if I go to visit my relatives, I won't smoke, you know, and it's just not on my mind. So it doesn't bother me. And, you know, but another thing that's really a big drawback is your car. When you get in your car, it's like, start your car up, you let up a cigarette, you know, it's just horrible. It's, it's just a real, I think it's a real mental state. I don't think I'm addicted. I don't think I have a nicotine addiction. I think I have, a mental addiction that thinks, you know, that makes me think I need a cigarette, but I really don't. Okay. Becca? Um, I don't know. There's a lot of reasons why I want to quit. I, I have sports coming up. I, I do gymnastics, and it's kind of like inflicts on that cause you got to run all the time and stuff. And my parents are just like won't leave me alone about it. But I don't know. I, I guess I'm physically addicted. I'm not really sure because <laughs> mm -hmm. I've never really tried to just quit. So I don't know. I think it's a lot about, like what Scott said, you know, it, it's habit. It's like, I get up in the morning, I go to school, I have to have a cigarette. It's just what I do every day. It's just in habit forming, I guess. How about you, Joel? Well, uh, I tried once a couple weeks ago. I tried, figured, well, I won't smoke today. I figured I'd try that. And by the time 3 o'clock came around, I was crying, so I just ran out there, had one, and almost fell over from the nicotine rush. Mm. And uh, same thing happened this morning. I was like, oh, I guess I won't have one this morning. So I get up at 5. Around 7.30, my friend went and bought a pack of cigarettes. Passed me one of them. And, and I had to. I mean, I don't know if I if it's mental or what. Because the smell of cigarette smoke doesn't make me want to have a cigarette more. It's just, I just like it, I guess. Mm -hmm. 